Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about a class that I actually used to play back in Wrath, and that's going to be the Holy Paladin. Because it's had some pretty significant changes. It's gone from one of the most dominant uh, healers, like just really regularly used, to a lot less participation from what I've noticed in the top ratings of Arena. Um, and right now I'm talking to a professional tournament player, Holy Paladin, Brian. Uh, he also plays a ton of ladder, he's multi-rank 1. And um, welcome to the show, dude. Welcome to the channel. Hey, what's up? So, I really want to dive into the changes, like, what, what happened um, this recent season uh, that made Holy Paladins, but more specifically even Melee Wings, like, less viable or less strong in Arena? So, basically, like, with the new season, obviously there's going to be more damage with uh, higher item level gear and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, with the meta especially right now, which is Lock Shaman, Mm -hmm. Currently, with melee wings being nerfed, so they nerfed it by, it they nerfed its mana cost. It went from I think seventy seven k to one hundred ten k, which is huge. And then that's pretty big, yeah. And then they nerfed the cooldown reduction of your judgment and crusader strike that it used to give by twenty mm -hmm. percent or so, I believe. So you're basically getting less crusader strikes, less judges off during your melee wings, and especially with how high the damage is right now, especially with the lock shaman meta, it's like really hard to keep up. Even mm -hmm. during your melee wings, like sometimes you're gonna have to use extra cooldowns, even with them popped. Right, which is which is uh, super inefficient, right? So um, overall, it seems like you guys have had a huge mana like problem as of this patch, right? And it, yeah, it's exactly. also like a lot less output since you're getting less judgments, right? Is it specifically just judgment, or is it Crusader Strike as well? It's both judgment and Crusader Strike, and so even when you pop melee wings now with how much damage there is mm -hmm. you have to cast during your melee wings too yeah in between when both your judge and crusader strike on, on cooldown so you're right. using even more mana it costs more to even pop that and then you're basically going um like probably within five minutes of fighting lock shaman yeah whereas before because... you didn't have to really do anything other than judge and crusader strike and that doesn't really cost mana right because of like lock shaman or warrior lock shaman in particular it seems like they put out just so much like damage overall pressure overall on an enemy team um that obviously like having to cast a whole lot while also using the abilities that have been increased in mana cost um that are supposed to heal you but like they don't heal you as much right and then yeah. And then also having to cast on top of that, like Holy Paladins probably go oom really quickly compared to the Mistweaver monks out there or the Restoration Shaman mirrors uh, that don't go as oom quickly and also get more heals out. Is that does that sound about right? Yeah, definitely. And basically, as like an HPL, once you go oom, you can't really do anything. Like I know, as like an Arsham, you can still get a few heals out and mm -hmm. probably keep your team alive for a while even after going oom because of Earth Shield, but. As a holy power, you just fall way too far behind without mana. Yeah, that does seem very, very rough. So, do you see uh, Holy Paladin having any kind of niches right now? Um, like, is there any comps that Holy Paladin fits really well into, or are there any situations or like last season disc priests were there to keep offensive pressure going, right, for a lot of the season? Um, yeah. So, does that is that what Holy Paladin is now? Is being able to like use their hodge in order to keep that offensive pressure rolling, and that's their niche, or you know, what's your mindset so... for that? I feel like Holy Paladins still kind of have their place. Mm -hmm. I've been playing with my um, with my team a lot, so we've been playing like Mage, Boomkin, Holy Paladin, and sometimes Windwalker, Mage, Holy Paladin. I, it, like it's definitely still there, but both those comps now they just lose to Lock Shaman. If right. <laughs> you're going by like an equal skill basis, you're just probably going to lose because there's too much damage, and Earth Shield is too strong for any setup comp right now. Mm -hmm. And then you have Orc Relentless on top of that, so it's really hard to kill anything during your CC. Mm -hmm. And I, I wouldn't even say that Holy Paladins have their own niches anymore, because I feel like they could just be replaced by a Holy Priest or a Mistweaver right now. Mm -hmm. Since Mistweavers have Leg Sweep, which is basically like Hodge. It's a little longer of a cooldown, but it's also AoE. It's pretty comparable. Then, yeah, and then Holy Priests have Chastise, which is actually even better than Hodge, since it's mm -hmm. not even dispellable or, or boppable, because it's, it's neither physical or magical. Yeah, so... Um... I think what the question here is, what is it that Holy Paladins can do to adapt? You know, is there is there a different spec, like playing the double bop, double stack spec? Is that something that is possible? Like, do you see yourself maybe fitting into, like, a god comp or something that's just different overall than what was available last patch to where it could work? Or is that still kind of unknown, or does that not work at all? 
So with melee wings being nerfed, I think back last patch before the nerfs, melee wings is basically almost always the go-to mm -hmm. pick against everything you fight, unless you're fighting like a prot team or something and you somehow need the extra sack and bop. But I feel like now double sack, double bop is definitely viable against certain like cleave teams like turbo or tsg or something right i still think the best option against lock shaman is melee wings because you're just going to die without them but there's this new talent mm -hmm. that i think is actually really important right now against lock shaman it's called beacon of faith so basically you can have two beacons hmm. on two partners and okay. that basically just increases your healing overall during wings and after wings which that does help a bit but right. i think Double bop and double sack right now could be, they're definitely viable, but obviously the play style also changes that. Like you have to cast way more basically the whole game, so you're prone mm -hmm. to being kicked or something. And that's the down part about it. Yeah, yeah, that does definitely seem like a struggle for sure. Um, I th okay, so aside from just like the the ways of adapting and like you know, Holy Paladin does seem to be kind of in a rough spot right now. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Do you foresee like any type of changes that you would make, or do you think like going back to the seven two uh, version of Holy Pally is like the way to go, or do you think that there's changes to be moved forward on? Right, like what what would you change? Right. Yeah. So, I still think melee wings back in seven two was a little bit ridiculous. Like it was actually just way too strong. You mm -hmm. could get too much healing out for free. And you, you'd actually do way too much damage, too. That's also something they nerfed, I forgot to say, is they nerfed our damage, so if you do less yeah, damage... Just like a flat nerf of everything. Less. Yeah, so basically a lot of everything got nerfed about it. I would probably say that if they reverted the mana cost of it, and maybe gave us a little bit more like PvP intellect or something, so you could heal more during wings and outside of wings, just more healing in general, that would probably help us out. So just like but some quality the, of life stuff? Yeah, just some quality of life. Uh, additions to our healing, but I think the biggest problem right now is just 110,000 mana is a little too much, because the biggest problem you run into when you when you're basically oom is you can't even heal, so you have to decide between holding your wings, holding your mana to pop wings, or get some small healing off. And some a lot of the times, yeah. if you're put into that situation, you're probably just gonna fall too hard behind and lose anyways. Yeah, definitely seems a little bit over nerfed. I would say. I mean. I I like the holy pal like I like holy pallies in the meta because it allows for more comps to be played. Um, yeah. Obviously, so seeing a class being kind of gutted and, and like nerfed in all situations, so like the damage, the healing output, and also the mana cost, like that's really really hard. And even like the usage of the abilities, like the frequency of being able to use the abilities, um, isn't you know quite up there anymore. You know, if I were there, I would definitely agree on those quality of life changes. You're definitely in the right direction. Um, I would also agree that probably melee wings as of last patch were a little bit too strong. And it's funny because wrestler shamans are doing upwards of like 100k DPS right now too. So it's it's funny seeing like wrestler shamans do yeah. nearly as much damage as you guys did last patch. And that just like came out of nowhere, right? Just because of those electrocute yeah, procs or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree on the quality of life changes. I think that it's totally reasonable and i hope that moving forward you know there are those tuning changes there hasn't been a whole lot of tuning changes since halinka's left I mean, it's kind of interesting yeah. um yeah. to see that correlation but yeah. regardless yeah. but uh regardless you know thank you for coming on and like telling me about kind of where the state is with holy paladies sorry it's kind of in a bad place right now i know that's like your favorite class so uh, hopefully things get turned around for you real soon but is there anywhere that my viewers can go and like watch you and your stream or wherever you like to put out content so they can follow you in your journey through the tournaments yeah so i stream occasionally at twitch.tv slash brian the kappa and mm -hmm. my twitter is twitch twitter.com slash kappa the brain awesome so both of those are going to be in the first lines of the description for this youtube video guys definitely click definitely go follow him um, I haven't gotten a whole lot of opportunities to talk to really high, you know, high professional, high rated players that also heal. So it's awesome to have you on the show, Brian. I really appreciate you coming on and talking about it. And um, yeah, thanks for having me. For sure. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below with your thoughts if you're playing Holy Pally. Um, and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.